friends, so I did one unbelievable one that most likely will be a lost episode, or you most likely can find it if you check out Girls of Goosebumps Part 3. But anyways, we're going to actually talk about the thing that actually is interesting, and special thanks to... Well, you got a card somewhere around here with a freaking eye and a freaking circle, so click that and that most likely will get you to the people who are responsible for me to actually say comparisons and such and if they were a good idea or a bad idea. So anyways, today we're going to talk about freaking Bride of the Living Dummy, book and episode. Just the plain difference between them, from what I could tell by these, the guys I shout out today, or at least... I think it was shout out or endorsed or whatever it is. They want me to do more of those, so I'm doing that. But anyways, from what I've heard by the book, the difference between the book and the episode is, is as follows. Number one in the book, you have Harrison and Julian, basically both friends, of course, and they actually decide to become clowns. They're going to try to become clowns to become rich. Oh, that's interesting. Number two is the fact of you have, instead of one sister, because in the episode, you see that there's just one sister. Instead of that, they're actually twins. Hmm, twins. So, yeah, they got that. Number three is the fact of, um, I forgot her name, but anyways, the girl doll antagonist. Well, not girl doll antagonist, but a girl doll. She actually looks, sounds different than what she looks like in the whole entire episode. Because apparently she's supposed to look like a raggedy Ann in a way. Or she looks butt ugly. <laughs> and that's freaking from Slappy's voice. From freaking Slappy's thoughts. Is that she's butt ugly. And he actually hurled. Which is another thing. Where are we? Are we number four? Yeah, number four is the fact that Slappy actually hurled. He hurled green slime all over the place. Oh my gosh. He hurled it on the children. He hurled it on the freaking... Yeah, there's lots of crap going on, but he hurled all over the place. Number five is in that basement scene because of, you know, the fact that girls are actually trying... Well, the girl... Harrison and Julian were trying to become clowns and instead they decided to actually do something silly and something different. <clears throat> they actually host the birthday party of one certain kid downstairs in their own, well, in Julian's basement where, yeah, so as you can see, there's a bunch of kids down there, a bunch of four-year-olds along with the sisters and Harrison and Julian. So, when the whole thing ends up happening, the final showdown, or at least the reveal, they weren't truly alone. It wasn't just the sister and Julian. It was actually everyone, including the sister being a twin. Uh, I don't even, I forgot where I am. <laughs> it's like, I forgot what number I am. But anyways, I don't care anymore. Another thing that's different is Harrison was actually not in the basement. Yeah, Harrison is in the basement in the book, but as for in the episode, Harrison, I think that was Harrison, he got locked in the bathroom. Not only that, but I thought Harrison sounded a bit more skinny than he does in the, yeah, in the episode, he looks kind of fat. <laughs> Sorry to be a jerk, but he looks kind of fat. Mm, let's see. Oh, yeah, the fact that Slappy is very, very aggressive. He actually punched Jimmy Johns in the face. And he actually bled. He's, I think he either squeezed Julian's hand or bit, I think he actually bit Julian's hand so hard that he actually caused the blood to appear. And you do have to admit though, if she was supposed to be the one you're after, why in the world would you harm her? I'm sorry to say that, but yeah, but of course, hey, this is his mindset. He actually punched and kicked Julian in the book. Yeah, check it out. He did. Well, at least one, one, two. I believe they are talking and telling the truth about what happened in the book. So, anyways, yeah. So he actually punched and kicked Julian. Also punched and kicked the freaking girl doll as well. Besides the whole thing of the parents actually went down after all of it went down and Slappy, along with the girl, got destroyed with the chipper. I mean, a wood thingy. Not only that, but it was Slappy who turned it on. In the episode, it was actually Julian who turned it on. 
Yeah. Thought you actually you should know about that. With that too. Um. Yeah, all the parents went downstairs to actually see what's going on because they were actually next door at a cookout. On the other hand, what happened is just the fact of at the end of the episode, every everything is all cool and chilled out, and then they all were like, "Whew!" And then as soon as the parents came, and the parents are like, "What the hell is going on here?" And then they were like, "Oh my gosh, what about Harrison? He's up there in the bathroom. He's been in the bathroom for so long." And of course, yes, we have two freaking endings that's different. And I can understand now why they chose this ending in the episode than the thing that happened in the book. In the episode, which one thing that's just weird as frick is that number one is the freaking doll. When she reveals that she's alive, her freaking eyes pop out. And I'm like, oh, what the? F oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And then as soon as you see the ending, you have freaking Harrison. I think it's Harrison. He, yeah, they open the freaking door and they find out that Slappy is inhabiting Harrison. And he has freaking popping eyeballs out too. And he decided to curl up his hair as well. What the? F <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh. And then in the book, it turns out that Julian was inhabited by Slappy. And to show even more, oh, good Lord, because... I bet they didn't say anything about, oh, Julian's eyes are popping out. Oh, my gosh. No, they didn't do anything like that. Instead, it was more the fact of she actually just hurled green. Yeah, she hurled out green sludge out of her mouth. And that's the symbolize that Slappy is within her. Yeah. I don't know. I mean... When it comes to choosing which one's horrible, I think the one episode is much more bad. I mean, given, yes, Slappy is inhabiting a girl, but his revenge is actually going, which is like, eh, 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 like seriously, eh. I mean, picking a guy out to do it is... It seems much, much better. I mean, it seems much, much better because it's like, well, now you can have a part two where freaking Slappy is forcing himself on Julian and now he's actually a real person. <laughs> oh, and it goes from being creepy as hell into, oh my gosh, he this is actually rape now. This is actually being forced upon. Yeah, she doesn't want to be forced upon Slappy. Yeah, now Slappy is now her size and has the strength of Harrison, which I guess the worst part would be the fact of holy frick, man. <laughs> it's like, holy frick, man. Freaking Harrison is still consciousness inside the freaking body and he can't help but just cry because it's like, dude, he can't do anything. He can't move his body or anything. Slappy has full control of his body. He's like, oh, frick. Even though you do have to admit of course, I only just saw the, yeah, I can't wait to be able, these guys to actually do the third book, so I can actually truly understand, but for the time being, all I can tell you is that in the freaking episode version, you have Slappy who actually breathes into Zane, and Zane actually, yeah, you have Zane who actually was becoming a monster, well, not becoming a monster, you have Zane who actually was becoming a dummy yeah so you have that and i wonder if that's exactly what happened to book but anyways yeah you see the key difference what's going on between episode and the actual book right so was it a good idea to actually change that i think they changed it for the better i mean why do you really want to see two kids trying to be as clowns and not only that but then they have to try to find so many kids, so many four-year-olds who actually are like, me, 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 which even, that means like even more money has to be shelled out to get more kids because they're like, yeah, we're going to have some kids there and then, well, it depends. I mean, they actually might cheap out and be like, yeah, we get the same kids that was in the birthday party before in the freaking final episode, the final part of it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that. <laughs> yep, so it's like, 
you could see why they cut costs because they cut costs the fact of they got rid of the clown idea so they didn't have to deal with that they got rid of so the fact of now instead of being twins it's just one girl they got rid of the twins idea and they're like yep that was a good idea we don't have to pay another girl to not only that but it's like they have to find twins that's the worst part of it all is the fact that they actually have to go out there, look for twins, and hope for the best that they can actually act. Yeah, that's like the true thing of where you're setting them up to get screwed over. <laughs> Unless they're able to get the dome at gum twins, which even so, they are actually most likely, you know, they're very, not very old, but they're too old to play the part that they want them to play. So it's like, yeah, man. <laughs> As for Julian not being possessed and Harrison's being possessed, that was a smart move. That was a very, very smart move that they did. So, that's all I gotta say. The interesting part is, they also put add-ins into the episode, too. Of course, they... Yeah, the ones who actually reviewed this book, they also show, They also told just the fact of you had Slappy, which technically was the girl doll who did it, which, yeah, this is the crazy part. It's the fact of it was Slappy in the episode, for the most part, who was doing that stuff, right? And then you have in the book, it was more like the freaking twin slash the girl doll who was actually in charge doing this. Uh, let's see. The interesting part about the episode one is that they made it very, very interesting instead of using spaghetti to write where's my bride instead he got some lipstick well actually he did use lipstick on the wall but instead of doing that he actually went to the girl's room and write i want my bride in lipstick and actually stole the mom's wedding ring wow right wow he actually went as far as eating a wedding ring what did the book one do <laughs> it's like yeah the book one's a cheapo <laughs> at least this, the, at least the episode version of Slappy, he actually was like, "Girl, you need a ring. I stole this ring from your mother. Even so, this is the ring. Come marry me." <laughs> it's like, yeah, even though it's a sick psychopath, kind of a sick psychopath, you still have him actually getting a wedding ring. And in the book, I haven't. Well, at least the reviewers of the book didn't actually say anything about he actually got a wedding ring and actually was sitting there yeah the interesting part is the fact of he wasn't even active until like closely i would say three-fourths you know three-fourths of the book that part that's when he actually or maybe even like the third yeah the last bit of the book he actually became active but before then he didn't actually do anything and I didn't even tell you about the thing which I did talked about in the secret files one that I just created. I'm going to call it secret files because I'm most likely not going to even truly publish it. But anyways, you have freaking two ways of how Slappy became part of Julian's, mm, I don't know, residence. So in the book, you basically have Harrison who actually found Slappy in the trash, not alive. And apparently he did have the card at that point. And that's how it happened. That's how it happened. Well, technically, you also have the part of in the episode as well. Well, actually, in the book as well. Slappy actually straight up insulted the two twins. And they wanted to tear, a, tear a Slappy off. So, with that said, in the episode version, it's different. It's more the fact of the doll, the girl doll, actually wanted to see Slappy backstage because, well, she got a freaking major crush on him. So that's what happened. And, of course, different things happened in the episode. Instead of Jimmy here getting punched in the face, it was more like the fact of there was a big debate on what Slappy wants to happen next. So what happened is instead of the whole he just threw away Slappy and moved away from town, and he lives in a trailer park, in the episode version, he actually has a freaking building, a creepy building at that, but he has a building where he actually hangs out. So he's already looking up from the book version, and he actually gave Slappy to them. He actually knocked on their door, 
left Slappy in the freaking crate and left. And notice, in the episode version, Slappy is already awake. Yeah, so there was not a turn on, turn off switch, which apparently, I guess, in the episode version, Jimmy is dumb. Jilly, Jimmy is smart as hell because he now actually has his own freaking building where he can sleep and everything. He has bunches of money. But as for Jimmy, the freaking book, he knows how to turn on and turn off Slappy. That's a, that's a thumbs up. But yet he lives in the freaking trailer park. That's a thumbs down because it's like, it should be flip-flopped. It should be the fact of you have that freaking scary behind warehouse house that you live in and you know how to turn on and turn off Slappy. But then you have the freaking trailer park one where it's like, he's in the trailer park. He has no freaking idea how to turn on and turn off Slappy. And it's like, well, not only that, but also in the book, you actually get to know Slappy's origin for the first time ever. Interesting, isn't it? At least in the episode version, you do have where they re try to return Slappy. They're, well, the funny part is that even when they tried to return Slappy, he actually ducked out of the freaking trunk and wasn't in there. <laughs> he wasn't even in there. He, what, what was in there was actually her dog, which I don't even remember they talked about she had a dog. So I guess the twin was replaced with a dog. <laughs> Harry's adventure, baby. <laughs> yeah, but still. So that's what he did. That is what exactly happened. It's just a fact of... <laughs> they tried to return Slappy. She tried to return Slappy. She left her younger sister at home. I think with Harrison. So she can return him back. But he turned out to still be in the house. But just like, oh, frick. <laughs> oh, frick. But she did find Jimmy. And Jimmy was like, yeah, Slappy is freaking damn evil. He wanted me to send you to him. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think it was like that. I think that's how it was. Yeah. So instead of actually getting the journal, yeah, instead of actually getting the journal, you actually had Jimmy showing up again for one more thing, which he was actually going to just start a new act. <laughs> yeah. So I think there you go. That's hopefully that actually helps with the whole difference between episode and book. And notice, again, Slappy was completely violent in the book. While in the episode, he was a little bit violent, but he wasn't that much violent. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. And stay... Well, actually, just thank you for watching. Most likely, we're going to get to the end of where I'm going to actually look at Goosebumps stuff and talk about Goosebumps until next October. But anyways, have a happy Halloween, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.